Sorry for not being with you for so long. Today we'll be solving a system of linear equations. In our very first video, we discussed that a system of linear equations may be solved using Kramer's rule. As you may remember, Kramer's rule involves finding determinants, and that might get tricky when dealing with systems of four, five, or more equations. Luckily, there is another method which allows to avoid massive calculations, and that is called Gaussian elimination or row reduction method. Let's consider a system of linear equations of the following form, where x1, x2, xn are unknowns, a, a, i, j are coefficients, and b1, b2, bm are free terms. Let's think of the system as of a set of conditions uh, giving information about unknowns. And we can spell it like this. If we take this much of x1, this much of x2, some amount of other x's, and this much of xn will obtain b1. Of course, that's not enough information for finding all the unknowns. So here's more. If we take this much of x1, add this much of x2, then add or subtract some other amount, amount of other x's, and then add this much of xn, we'll obtain b2, and so on. Now what else can we say about this system? Obviously, we can swap any equations in this system, because the order in which information is obtained about the unknowns is not important. The idea here is to get enough information, but not particularly ordered. Another simple conclusion that comes to mind is that we can multiply both sides of any of the equations by any non-zero constant, and that won't affect a system as well as adding to both sides of any of the equations corresponding sides of any other equation. And we can perform these um, elementary transformations as many times as we want. That will lead us to an equivalent system, because in fact doing so we are not producing or reducing information, but just reorganizing it. We'll find these properties essential when solving a system of linear equations using Gaussian method. Now let's consider a real system of equation, equations, like the one we have here in the bottom. So, getting started with any system of such kind, first of all, it is convenient to form nice columns of variables, in our case x1, x2, x3, and x4. This should prevent us from making mistakes and help us proceed quicker. Also, it is convenient to put equations which are fully stuffed with all the unknowns in the top. So let's see what our system might look like. As you can see, First and third equations are fully stuffed with unknowns, so I'll put third equation into the second line. Also, I'll put x1 into the first position and x3, or 5x3, into the third position, so that I formed columns of x1s, x2s, x3s, and x4s. So, follow me. I go 2x1 plus 4x2 minus 3x. 3 plus 2x4, and that is equal to 0. So here I have my first equation with no changes. Then I have this equation. And it goes like this. x1 minus 2x2 plus 5x3. plus 2x4, and that is equal to 2. Then I'll put my second equation into the third line. But as you can see, we don't have x1 here. That is not a problem. I'll simply start with my second column, with 2x2. And then I go minus 4x3, then I have plus 5x4, and that equals negative 1. And then my last equation, which lets x1 and x2, and also that is not the problem, I'll just start with a third column. So I have negative 2x3 plus x4 equals 
minus negative 3. Eliminate 
using x3 from the fourth equation. So I'm going to take my fourth equation, multiply it by negative 3 eighths, add it to the third equation, and plug the result into the fourth line. There is my third equation, negative 3 over 4 x3 plus 11 over 2 x4 equals 0. And then there is my L4 multiplied by negative 3 eighths. 3 over 4 x3 minus 3 over 8 x4 equals 9 over 8. So we have 41 over 8 x4 equal to 9 over 8. system and it is in the upper triangular form. Finding unknowns from the system in triangular form is called the first course of Gaussian method. And it's rather easy to see how to proceed from this point. Take a look. We have fourth equation which only contains one variable. So we can easily find it. x4 equals 9 over 41. Then we'll just back substitute x4 into the third equation to obtain x3. After that, knowing x3 and x4, we can substitute them into the second equation and find x2. And then, having found x2, x3, and x4, we're going to easily find x1 from the first equation. So the answer to our system is the following x4 equals 9 over 41. x3 equals 66 over 41. x2 equals 89 over 41. And x1 equals negative 88 over 41. You can check it if you like. The system we have considered is called consistent since it has a solution and definite since it has a unique solution, the one we have just found. But as you're probably guessing, there are also inconsistent and indefinite systems. Suppose that our system had looked slightly different. Like, suppose that its fourth equation looks like this, negative 3 over 2 x3 plus 11 x4 equals negative 3. According to Gaussian elimination method, we'd want to try and eliminate x3 from the fourth equation. So we'll take fourth equation, multiply it by negative one-half, add to the third equation, and plug in the fourth line. So we go like this. Negative 3 over 4 x3 plus 11 over 2 x4 equals 0. That is our third equation. And then there is fourth multiplied by negative one-half. 3 over 4 x3 3 minus 11 over 2 x4 equals 3 over 2. We add these two equations and obtain 0 equals 3 over 2. So we obtained a contradictory equation. 
When situations like this occur, it means that this system has no solutions. Such systems are called inconsistent. Now consider another case. Suppose that our fourth equation would look like this. And we'd also multiply it by negative one half and add the third equation according to the Gaussian elimination method. And obtain an expression zero equals zero. So it basically means that our system generates into this. Take a look. We have four unknowns, but only have three equations. That is the case of an indefinite system, a system with more than one solution. We cannot uniquely define all the unknowns, but only can express one unknowns in terms of the other ones. I'll take a few examples on such cases for you. Meanwhile, enjoy!